I'm Cami Ellingson. I'm a watershed program manager for the Sayusla National Forest. I am a hydrologist with 20 years of field experience. Do a lot with wetland restoration to try to restore natural processes and the um, natural hydrology um, of, a, of an area. We spend millions of dollars on restoration projects trying to engineer solutions. But what would be so much cheaper and more effective would be if we just stopped removing beavers. When left alone, they work 24-7 to build and maintain their dams, creating multiple ponds and wetland systems like these. These ponds and wetlands can help reduce flooding in the winter and store a lot of water for us throughout the year. We are already seeing changes related to the climate. We're already seeing greater high water events in the wintertime, and we have longer periods of low flows and sustained low flows through the summertime and into the fall. We have a lot of municipal watersheds up and down the coast that rely on water coming from the National Forest Land. My phone starts ringing when those extended low flow periods of time are experienced because these cities have a demand and they have to meet their supply and it is proving not to be there. I'm hoping that our efforts working with beavers will soon pay off in terms of extending the available water supply. People don't realize how much water could be stored behind these beaver dam complexes. I think folks are pretty quick to dismiss them as a real factor in our municipal watersheds and as a real viable means to achieve what we really want, which is good, clean, abundant water. Even a small beaver dam like this one, you can hardly notice in the foreground, can hold as much as 58,000 gallons of water. The dam is only three feet tall, but it backs up about a half an acre of water. This increases the amount of water stored in the surrounding floodplain and in the groundwater too. And the beavers often create a series of ponds like these, since the pond's depths provide them protection from predators. Most municipal engineers are quick to jump to human-made dams and reservoirs as solutions to water storage problems, but these are very expensive and difficult to permit. Most haven't even considered the water storage potential that beavers could provide. During a drought in Grant City, Missouri, for example, beavers built a complex of seven dams, which ended up supplying water to wells serving almost 3,000 people. At the same time, neighboring towns had to have emergency water delivered by the National Guard. In eastern Washington, a study showed that a single beaver family created dams which provided about 3 million gallons of water storage. That's a lot of water. I'm currently working on a project with the United States Geological Survey to look more at these potential water storage benefits. We're looking across an entire municipal watershed and modeling where beavers would be, naturally, and quantifying the benefits in terms of water retention and flood mitigation that beavers could provide. I know there are places that beavers can't be, but most folks don't look much beyond the fact that they can cause problems. They are quick to remove them instead of looking for ways to enjoy their benefits and avoid any negative impacts. We have found ways to reach a win-win with landowners and with the beavers. We put in bigger culverts under the roads, use culverts with cutback tops. We put cages around the trees that we need near the streams to protect and, and address stream temperature. And we've planted many more willows and other trees that beavers use for food. We try to look at the whole picture and the whole suite of options. One way we avoid beavers plugging our road culverts is to install posts called beaver dam anchors. These are wooden posts, we use cedar posts, that are placed upstream of the culvert, either at a narrow point in the stream channel, well before the culvert, or even in an arc right near the culvert inlet. The idea is that the beavers will build their dam on the posts and not on the culvert, so that the culvert doesn't plug. This semicircle is a long curved beaver dam that was built up over the beaver dam anchors, but back from the culvert that runs under the road. The beavers get the deep pond that they need for their habitat, and the culvert functions as it was intended. The road doesn't flood, and we get a lot of stored water. Sometimes we also need to install a pond level device through the beaver dam to make sure that the water doesn't rise too high. The standpipe can be set at a level where the pond has sufficient depth for the beavers, but also is at a depth that doesn't cause road flooding or other additional problems. If the water gets to the top of the standpipe, it just simply flows out. Many restoration groups have people willing to help implement these solutions to allow the landowners to live successfully with beavers. If we were able to just leave the beavers where they are and where they want to be and where they're choosing to be um, to do that great work, we, we would all stand to benefit.